hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to copy a row to another table but before we copy we need first to edit and after we copy we will delete the row so i have a sample data here this is a work order and the other table is the completed work order so the scenario is i wanted to uh, uh, to change this into completed then I wanted to also before I copy to the another table I wanted to edit the row so it's uh, I wanted to add the notes here all right so to do that we will create an action so the action is in work order so I'm going to create a new action so the first action that we need to create is to first to change the uh, there's a notes here you know when you are adding it um, there is what we call notes so I need to manually input this when I have an action here let's say I have an action completed action here I wanted to have the the notes as a manual entry So let's first create our first action. So I'm going to name this as input note. Then this will be in the work order and set value column to this row. So my target is notes. So I'm going to use here the expression called input. So what is the column name? The column name is input. Uh, sorry, notes. You see it's a notes okay and what is the input so I'll keep it empty and save and just do not display then second that we need to create is we need to have an action that uh, we will just click and copy these this data to this table so we are going to create another action in the, the same table i'm going to name this copy row then set value columns of this row so the id will be sorry i'm going to use Add another row to another table and the target table is completed work order so the ID I'm gonna just copy the ID then the status and I want I wanted it to make it completed and the detail will be the detail what else we have the notes will be the uh, notes also <laughs> all right and we keep it do not display then once we copy this, I wanted to delete this uh, this row. So we're gonna create another action. <laughs> delete. So we're gonna choose an action here. Uh, we have an action we call delete this row. All right. And then appearance will be do not display we will save it first all right then next we have to combine this action in a sequence we're going to create a new action and the action here I will just name this as group action 
So in the group action, you have to select here the execute sequence of action. So first thing that we need to create, we need to trigger is whenever we we have like a trigger here to um, to make this uh, work order as completed. But first, we need to edit the note. You know, there is a note here when you are adding. So we have to edit first. Then after we edit, we copy this row, copy row. And after we copy, we delete the row. Delete this row. So appearance, I wanted to keep it as primary here. It will be here. Okay, I'm going to just check if anything here. Okay. And the behavior, this is only true. I wanted only to display this in context. View type is equals to detail. All right, now let's try. And if you're using this action copy to another table or add row to another table, make sure that the table that you're adding, it's allowing add as well. And if you're using a delete as well, make sure that the delete is allowed as well. All right, now let's try. So currently this is a pending. So if I wanted to uh, action this so we will just rename this action group action complete okay i will just name this so now it's complete the work order so i'm gonna just let's say complete work order it will ask me for inputs or for the nodes let's say test once i save um this one it's deleted so as you can see it's only two re remaining there and it copies here so we, let's try one more let's say this one cleaning master bedroom complete action test 002 save and if you go here it copies and it deletes here all right so this is how you do the uh, copy edit and delete a row using a action if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comment if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video